Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and welcome to a tutorial all about creating an outline that's usable in your game. So this is based on a free asset which uses a render feature in Unity URP, works in Unity 6, and it's really great. And I'm also going to show you how to create a script which creates a raycast to when we look at the object, we can highlight them. So it makes it suitable for everything that you need. I'll put the full script and the project on my Patreon. And if you do enjoy this video, do be sure to throw a like. And make sure you're subscribed because it helps me out massively. This is from this developer, Chisiski, and it's the URP render features. And I'm more interested in the outline render feature, which you can find here. What I recommend to do is to go to the right hand corner, click on the drop down, and just download the zip folder. Within the folder, I just renamed the assets folder to render features, and I just dragged that straight into my new project here. And the render features have some example scenes, some settings. To be able to use this in your own project, you need to find your PC renderer in your settings, and you can usually find those by going to edit project settings. And if you go to graphics, you can find the default render pipeline asset, which is this PC RP asset in my case, and then in the renderer list, you can find the renderer that you're using, and you can add a new renderer and you can use the outline render feature. It may have an error because we just needed to add some features to it, but that's just because we need to go through some of the settings. Best thing on the render pass event is to do before rendering post processing, and then we can actually set a bunch of layer masks and different things of how we want this to render. Now I've created a layer called outline, and you can create that at the top by selecting any game object and adding a new layer in the top right in the layer selection. You can actually choose a rendering layer that you might want this to render on. So I'll just say light layer two, just for this instance. And it does need an override material and this does come with its own. So this will be the view space normals and the blip material will be the screen space outlines. And then you can adjust scale, thresholds, color and other stuff like that. Now you can see it hasn't changed on any of my objects. You can see that on my objects here, I can go on the small cube here and it needs the particular layer. So you can see that's on outline. And once we outline it, you can start seeing it there. You may want to adjust the render layer in the mesh renderer, because if we put it on anything else on, let's say just default, we won't view it. It needs to be on at least on the light layer too, to make that visible as well. So just keep that in mind. And if we go back on the render, you can see we can change the color. We can change that to however we want. Change that to a light blue. We can set the thickness of it in this case. You can adjust the normal threshold to see how it would affect the edges of the normals that are created for any particular objects that we have. So if you want something just in a sort of back outline, you could do that and just mess around with these settings that are suitable for you. I'll help you create a little Raycast script now so we can highlight objects when we look at them so you can use those within game. So we'll right click in the project panel, choose scripting and mono behavior script. And I'm just going to call this the highlight target. And in this script, we're just going to literally have a public integer for the original layer. And I'm just going to choose to hide it in the inspector just because we're going to use this when we want to update it. And then we'll just say in the wake that the original layer equals the game object dot layer. So we'll get its original layer, what it's set on by default. We'll create a new script called the object highlighter. And this is going to be the one that controls our raycast and the things we want to do with it. So first of all, I've just got a float and a string, which is the ray distance, how far the raycast will go. And then the outline layer name, which is called outline, which we already created. And then we're going to have two private variables, one integer for the outline layer and a game object that we want to find, which were the last highlighted object. So then the start method will say that our outline layer, which is the integer, equals the layer mask dot name to layer and the outline layer name is just so that we can use this within script. We're going to have an update method, which will be the highlight raycast script. And that is the check that we're going to have. We'll start by writing our raycast. So we'll say raycast ray equals camera dot main dot screen point to ray because we want to find the center of the screen so we can do our raycast so we'll say new vector to then open brackets screen dot width times by 0.5 f comma screen dot height times by 0.5 f if physics dot raycast open brackets ray so the ray that we've just created out raycast hit We'll give that a shorthand of hit, and then we'll just say the raycast distance. And we'll add two brackets below, and then the two curly brackets to end that. Now, what we need to do is check for the highlighted object that we want to find. We'll say if hit.collider.try get component, 
open brackets out highlight target which was that script that we created we'll just give it a shorthand of target because we'll try and find the component if not it won't do anything then we, if we have found the target we'll say game object target object equals the target dot game object because it wants to be that one that we just found and then if we say that if last highlighted object is not equal to the target object we must find a new one we'll create a method called clear highlight so we make sure that we remove it from something else and then we'll say that the target object dot layer equals the outline layer and then the last highlighted object equals the target object and then under here we'll just say return because if we didn't find something we just want to go back to the original to see if we're ever looking for something below our if statement here below the full if statement we're just going to say that we want to also clear the highlight at any point if we don't end up creating the raycast and finding something so now under here we can just create a new method called clear highlight and then, then we'll say that if last highlighted object is not equal to null in this case so it definitely has something found and we'll say that if last highlighted object dot try get component open brackets out target highlight and target again then we'll say that the last highlighted object dot layer is equal to the target dot the original layer and and that and just below here we'll say last highlighted object is equal to null open those up so we can actually use this method now and we want to clear the highlight so we've just created the raycast to be able to look for an object which has this script on this highlight script and we'll find that object we'll hold the reference to that object and we'll change the layer and if any case when that's not happened oh we're looking at another object which has the same layer we're just going to remove the old one and place the correct layer on the ones that we want now what i'll do is i'll just go to my main camera for this instance i'll put the object highlighter i'll leave the outline layer as outline because we did already create it and the raycast distance can be 10 on this object here we can just make sure that the layer is default at the start and i'll put the highlight target script on it you will notice that when we look at it and look away we will get the highlight on the actual object and of course we can grab these additional objects add the highlight target script make sure they've all got default as the layer and you can see here that they all do the same thing that we can highlight these all individually and you can do some custom interaction there so i do hope you find this useful and i'll put all this on my patreon and so you can get hold of the scripts for highlighting targeting and stuff i'll put all the links down below so you don't miss out do be sure to check out all the links to unity sales now on and do be sure to come and check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons, special thank you to Peter Steiner, Very Shooter and Party of Ten for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.